Hello. <laughs> so, I've been asked to keep radio silence, but now that Andrea has disclosed that there's been a very slight inflamed hiccup, um, he has had to slow it right down. It sounded terrible. He was in enormous pain and um, he's sat there and waited till the pain dissipated. Now he's decided to keep going. <laughs> this man's nuts. But, um, you know, that's why I love him. So he's on his way down. I've got every drug known to man that's legal to help him <laughs> for the rest of his journey. Hopefully he can make it at least down here and then we'll see how it goes. I, I know that he's already decided how it's going to go. So this crazy person who has a really big fat inflamed leg is going to walk seven, seven hours to the finish no matter what so yeah he should be here well he just started walking 9k I don't think he's gonna run I'll break his goddamn legs if he's gonna run so he should be here in probably an hour or so something like that and then we'll see how it goes but anyway we'll see <laughs> dear god this has been the craziest craziest journey ever Look at the nature. Oh, look at that beautiful girl. How fresh does she look? She looks fresh, man. And that guy talking to another guy. And those mountains. And like that white truck. Don't get many of those in Australia. All right. That's the entrance that I have to go in when he arrives and um, assist him. <laughs> so that's going to be fun because he's going to be a big hero. I would have given up like probably K1 because <laughs> unfortunately I'm not, I'm not a masochist. That's it. And it looks like the weather's turned warm now. So, but it, it's a nice warm day for a 25-ish kilometer stroll. So, you know, he's got to do it. His name's Andre Comaster. You know, he, you'll have to carry him out on a trolley if he, if he has to do it. I know that. All right. Let's see how it goes. Yay. Well, that was a bit of an adventure. You gotta use all the parts of the race, don't you? I've paid enough money to use all the facilities. <clears throat> now, it will be a long but slog home. I actually, pretty much don't have any pain so I could even try and run a little bit on the flat when there's no stones and stuff and then later on there's a very technical bit that I need to be very careful but yeah I could go down to Le Contamine and then decide load up on Panadol and have some with me and then yeah We'll see. Look. I've got... What, what's the time now? It's 9.58 in the morning. I've got until... 3.30 I think or 3 o'clock to get to Le Contamine and leave and it's um, well, how far is it? did I say 13 kilometers I think no 9 I forgot Alan I've had a bit of a, an adventure 
I got to um, Col du Jolie and I was like two minutes away from DNFing. I got there with a huge um, inflammation to my tendon at the front of the leg so that, that goes to the foot. And like, even if you were patching it, it was in so painful. And it was so painful that I actually was fainting and I had to lie down and I had to lift my legs up. And it happened like, I tried to get up a few times, sit down a few times and no, I was fainting and sort of nausea. So they've given me paracetamol and they've given me some sort of cream to put on it. And after half an hour, the pain is virtually gone. I mean, I can feel it and I, I don't have full movement of the foot, but um, so plan B is in the picture now. But plan B starts with getting to Le Contamine, walking, and it's, I think, 13 Ks, but I've got six hours. So I should be able to make it. In fact, I need to make it quicker because the effect of the Panadol will wear out and, and they, won't, they wouldn't give me any more. Um, so yeah, plan B and then we'll decide at Le Contamine what to do. Problem with Le Contamine is that there's another 1800 meters of climb and I think 2000, no, and 1800 or 2000 of descent, which is the problem. So we'll see what happens. It's not an ultra if it's not full of drama, right? That's what you want. So I suppose the new objective will be 42 hours and um, and see, see how it goes. I can't read what's on the screen because now I've got sunglasses on and I can't read, but let's see what happens. The, yeah. Crazy, crazy. I was so close to signing off. They were actually, they were gonna get a, an ambulance to get me because I couldn't even sit in a Jeep to go down to Le Contamine to catch a bus because I was fainting as soon as I sat down, as I was sitting up. So, yeah. I'm sure this will find its way to my mum. Hopefully not, and then she'll freak out. <laughs> but anyway, let's see what happens now. There's another bloody climb after the contamine. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to changing my shirt because this is a bloody thermal and now it's the sun. That wasn't in the plan. I'm gonna put it there. It's full of flies. So I think I will update you a little bit later because I want to use both poles to go a little bit faster within the limits of pain, which is not there anyway at the moment. But in the meantime, look at this. How awesome is that? And what, what about that? I feel regenerated. I'm even rested. Quads have recovered a bit. Pain's gone. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it.
stuff in here. Thank you. Apparently it was nine kilometers from the eighth station, not 13. So, even better. Not an easy section. Grazie. Thank you. think I know how the pain started I was wearing compression like 2xu compression socks all the time the same pair for 28 hours when I took it out it looked like it was all I don't know weird I think that's how it happened and obviously overused but I think that's what caused it As soon as I took it off, it was such a relief. And then it took an hour for the pain to disappear with the medicine. It was so bad. I was crying and fainting. <clears throat> Literally, it was two minutes. They came to me and they said, you need to quit. You need to stop. I said, wait, wait. And they asked me like five times. I came back five times to, to tell me. And then the panel, to, the panel to just kicked in.
guys so much. Thank you. How far? Uh, 200 meters D minus, then you are the flag road. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Oh, thanks for telling me. Very nice of you. Real trail runner. Should run on the road. close.
Thank you. Now, Aussie, Aussie. Wow, guys, I don't know if you heard that or whether we switched the audio off. I just got a call from the organization saying that they were looking for me because they were expecting me to live on the and I wasn't there. And they wanted to know if I was still in the race, you know. Thank you. Thank you. And I said, yeah, 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 yeah. I still am. Oh, the river. 